how are you all doing it's poison welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be going over the best console settings in fortnite battle royale for season 5 as you guys know season 5 came out like two to three weeks ago and i'm going to be showing you guys the best console settings for these um season 5 so as you guys know i did this before i think i did like three other videos and it did amazing so if you guys did if this video did help you guys out make sure to drop a like subscribe if you guys are new turn up post notifications and yeah let's start with the video So as you guys know, season 5 has started and there's a lot of things that changed. The meta has changed from shotguns to like SMG kind of stuff like that. There's like a lot of things that you need to do to your settings to improve the game. So starting off the bat already, you need to play in Builders Pro. There's no way in season 5 that anyone uh, gonna use Combat Pro or something. You have to use Builders Pro. If you guys don't know, if you guys use Builders Pro, you guys could change between your weapons through R1 and uh, L1. This is very important in season 5 because of that SMG shotgun meta. So you use the SMG then change to your uh, shot, uh, use the shotgun and change to your SMG to kill people. Builders Pro is amazing, it's the best way to play the game at this time and you guys should definitely use Builders Pro. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about the sensitivity and the ADS and stuff. So starting off the bat, you guys so this sensitivity right here, 1 and 2, these two right here, you guys could go uh, 8 or up. So I suggest nothing less than 8. So if you guys use 9 right now, keep it at 9. You know, if you guys want, 10 is the best as always. But, you know, try to get higher as possible. If you guys have 7, try to use 8. If you guys have 8, try to use 9. I eight, uh, use 8 right now. I might try to use 9. But I don't want any of you guys to go less than 8. Because you guys need to build fast. You guys need to react quick. And, and this game right here depends on that. So you need to have the sensitivity up there, guys. You need to have it high up. That's what the, all the pro players use. Next thing I have to talk to you guys about is the ADS. So I keep both of my ADS as 0.70. This basically is what you think and how your gameplay is. If you guys like, you guys need to go inside a game. If you guys change the sensitivity from like seven to like nine, you guys probably need to lower this more. But if you guys have like a, a six sensitivity, then you guys could your boost this up. But basically I have my at 0.70 for both of them. You guys could go through and see what's the best for you guys. Invert view is obviously off, streamer mode is off depending on what you're doing. The HUD of uh, the HUD basically, uh, you guys could lower this down a little bit to like 0.90 if you guys want, but it's basically your suggestion, which, whatever you guys want to do. Show spectator count on, those are basically yourself. Sprint by default, have that off, that will mess up your game, do not ever have that on. Uh, sprint cancel reload off, tap to search off. Toggle targeting off and since you guys are in console, you guys definitely should have aim assist on. I don't know why you guys should have that off. Editing mode, aim assist, you guys should have that on. Reset building choice, have that on. I, I always like to have, I mean, this basically does not matter if you're playing in Builders Pro because like you have to use all of your R2, L2, L1 and R1 buttons to build. But if you guys are using Combat Pro, I don't know why you guys should do that. Uh, you guys should have this on as always. But if you guys are using Builders Pro as well, you guys should have this on. Turbo building, obviously on. You want to build fast. You don't want to uh, have to like click click the R2 button to place a wall down. You could just hold it and it will build it for you. Auto material change on. If this is really good when you're in a building match, you could just uh, change the materials without even thinking about it. Control the auto run. I like to have this on because it's good to sometimes, you know, if my hand is sweating, I could just run in one direction and, you know, get loosened up, uh, make sure my hand is not sweating and like, you know, rub off my hand, do stuff like that. Um, auto open doors, I have that off. Auto pick up weapons. Uh, this one is basically your choice. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you guys uh, first land on a house, like you get off the bus and you first land a house and two people are going for the same chest. If you have this on, you're more likely to get that gun from that chest after it's open than the other guy. But basically it's your choice what if you guys want to do with that. Vibration, I have, have it on. I don't mind having it on. I don't care like if it vibrates a little bit, it doesn't disturb me, but it's basically your choice. Do whatever you guys want with it. And the replays is on and off. So that's about it. So that's about it for this 
So that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if you guys did uh, like this video and what you think about the sensitivity and what you think about the setting. And if you guys could improve it a lot or if you guys have like better options, let me know in the comments as well. It'll help other people and it'll also help me out. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, turn on post notifications, and yeah, thanks for watching.